welcome back to Llama Screen Music Studio. So today I only need my bow because we're going to be talking about a good bow hold, which is a key element of string playing, especially for beginners. So always keep these things in mind as you're learning to play and don't forget about your bow hand. So there are three elements to a good bow hold. The first, pinky tapping. Make sure that you are on the tip of your pinky, not sitting on the bow like this. Make sure that your pinky is sitting somewhere that's comfortable, but probably near where the screw meets the wood. Second, make sure that your two middle fingers are draped over the frog of the bow. You should be able to see them on the other side coming down. If they're up like this, or they're not quite all the way down, make sure you move them. The third and most important is when we turn the bow over and look at our thumb. Our thumb should be bent in a convex way, not a concave way like this. This is incorrect. This is correct. This is all to make sure that the bow hold resembles a fist as much as it can, because this is the way that our hand likes to fall when we're not thinking about it. As you can see here, my hand has fallen into a fist. The thumb is bent like this, and not like this. So we're trying to emulate the natural motion of our hand. So in review, here are three elements. A rounded pinky hitting at the tip of the finger where the screw meets the wood. The two middle fingers draped over the frog of the bow so that you can see them on the other side. Finally, the thumb bent in a convex way so that we protect ourselves from getting hurt with overextension. Here is your healthy bow hold. Happy playing.